Hey there everybody, Reed here. I'm driving to work today. It's harvest season and so everything's going on at the same time. And yeah, I won't be looking you in the camera today because I've got my eyes on the road. Anyway, I want to say relationships. They sometimes require defense. My wife brought this up to me and into relay of chatting with some other moms and we drink tea every morning together. We drink like Ooh Air or Oolong and we got tiny teapots and tiny cups so we spent about an hour uh, steeping and re-steeping and drinking tea and chatting about our life and our days and stuff. And she was saying that like, you know, we defend that from our children. So we got two very young kids and then an 11 year old and you know the young kids don't always understand that like hey mama and papa are taking some focus time for each other and you know they learn that that's our time together you know by the evening time I don't know but all the rest of your parents out there but we're kind of beat and so we're lucky to just even sit down together after putting the kids to bed for the most part right now that's not even happening with a three month old and, you know, <clears throat> I recall when I was younger and kind of relationships and like, you know, romantic relationships and I kind of get tunnel vision for all your other connections and friendships and projects and things and spend too much time in that relationship rather than tending to all the various relationships. And they're all quite important, you know? like. Life would be pretty boring without my friends, as a for instance. And, you know, if I don't defend my work to make those relationships, then uh, I'm not going to be able to pay the bills and all the things. So, defending your relationships, making sure that you're giving them the time and space that they need to be healthy. And it's not always the easiest thing to do. So, part of a men's group we meet every Tuesday we do different kinds of adventures or games or activities and you know making it out on that weekly occasion that takes me being defensive about it at times so you know sometimes the family's melting down and it's just like well I gotta go I gotta go and take care of myself and these relations that are out here you know I've got my parents coming and you know my father asked to spend some time with me and I thought that was really sweet and so I'm carving out some time space for that it requires a defensive activity otherwise you know it'd be similar to my eldest daughter's experiencing in the realm of her other grandparents are here right now and when they're not here she does tutoring with her grandmother for like math and English on Skype and so, when they're, and that usually lasts for like an hour or two, depending on the day. But while she's out here, they have barely done that at all. And one night she even wanted to watch a movie, and you know, dinner's wrapping up, and the little kids are melting down, and I was just like, you just need to take the reins, my daughter, and make your movie happen. Pull your other grandparents away and go enjoy yourself and that might seem selfish sometimes but the reality is if we're not defending our relationships then we're not gonna really have those relationships whatever the loudest voice in the room is is gonna control the scene <clears throat> and it might even just be the loudest voice in your head like oh I need to work and I can't make time for my family oh it's like no you need to defend your family time you know you've got a pretty good work-life balance right now where I'm working three to four days a week for money and then the rest of the time I'm trying to spend time with the family while knocking out all the household chores and life things which right now includes building an extension onto the house so that my wife can have the space she needs for her own business which needs defending. I'm curious what are your strategies out there for defending your relationships and the things that matter in your life? How do you keep from just getting sucked into other people's demands of you and maintaining balance of that let me know in the comments below that would be super great 
I love that you're watching these videos out here. I hope you don't mind the uh, drive to work video. I hope you're all having great days out there. Thanks for liking and subscribing to this channel. Supremely appreciate that. You can go to my website, bendingreads.com. You can buy my book if you want to support me. I think I also have a donate page there if you just want to donate because you're like, dude's got three kids and making it work. You know, extra money is helpful. They all want to do new things and, you know, it's a balancing act, isn't it? And no, I don't want to just hustle all the time. But I think there are ways to do that and live a balanced life, which is hopefully coming more into focus now. So with all that, thanks for watching this. I hope you all have great days. Remember, I have too much fun.